Today we are going to learn a simple trick to make a text look transparent. Press Ctrl plus J on your keyboard to duplicate the background image. Grab the text tool. Drag the cursor across the canvas to create a text box. Don't worry about the size of a text box, it doesn't matter at this stage. Highlight the default text and replace it with the word nature. The next step is to select a font. I like the one called Luckiest Guy. Now if you don't have it, scroll down until you find another font with big fat letters. We need to create a large text, so go to the size input box, highlight the existing size and type 400. You will need to press enter on your keyboard to validate that new number and then click save to preview how it looks on the canvas. If you think that the size is too big for you, feel free to try a smaller size. Time to choose a color for the text. Click on this color box, select the white color swatch and click save to validate the new choice. We are done here, so click close. If your text is too high on the image, use the move tool to drag it to the desired position. Before moving forward, using the down arrow, move the text layer between the two mountain images and turn off the top layer. When you create a text, the layer is automatically a vector layer. We'll need to convert this to a paint layer for the next step. Right click on the layer, choose Convert, and select Convert to Paint Layer. Click F2 to rename the layer. Let's call it Nature 1. Hit Ctrl J to make a copy of the text and rename this layer Nature 2. Using the down arrow, move Nature 2 underneath Nature 1. We'll get back to that layer later. For now, click on the layer Nature 1 to activate it. Right-click and select the Layer Style option. Select the Drop Shadow option and check the box right next to it. If you don't check the box, you won't see a preview of your work. Set the blend mode to multiply. Increase the opacity to 100%. Set the angle to 150 degrees. Increase the distance of your shadow to around 33 pixels. Finally, set the size of your shadow to about 14 pixels. Click OK when done. Turn off the background layer and the Nature 2 layer. I want you to see what we are about to do. We'll turn them back on when finished. Grab the magic wand. We are still on the Nature 1 layer. If not, make sure to click on it to select it. Select all the white areas of your letters. Make sure to not select any of the shadows, it's very important. Now it is time to turn on the very top layer and click on it to activate it. If you hit delete now on your keyboard, you will delete the inside of the letters as you can see. We don't want to delete the inside, we want to delete anything that is outside the letters. First let me undo this using a Ctrl Z. Go to the tab Select, choose Invert Selection. Now you can hit Delete on your keyboard and hit Ctrl Shift A to undo the selection. As you can see, we have successfully deleted all the background images around the letters. We are almost done. Turn back on the layer Nature 2 and the background layer. Click on the layer Nature 2 to activate it. Grab the Move tool again. Using the left arrow on your keyboard, click two to three times to move the white letters to the left side of your screen. 
Now, obviously, you can adjust the position to your liking. This is just for demonstration. And that's it. You've created a cool transparent effect. Now let's add a finishing touch. Click on the background layer to activate it. Hit Ctrl U. Using the saturation slider, you can choose to desaturate completely the image for a black and white look. You may want to desaturate the image partially for a softer effect or oversaturated for a more vibrant effect. Finally, you can use the U slider to alter the background color. And that's it, we are done for today. Thank you for watching, au revoir et à bientôt.